to, I, I told Greg that tonight. I said, yeah. So I just want to say, hey, let's say hello, everyone. Say so we'll start over here. Hello. Yes, there we are. So we, yeah, I know that's so fun. <laughs> uh, Michelle is bringing the fun in Colorado, but we just, um, you know, I really towards the end of the seminar year last year, um, I just really realized that one of the things that um, was missing was, and I, okay, this, let me back up. What I realized is all the women that have been in Mary Kay on our team for a long time, right, are all ones that had strong relationships with each other. Like if you look at that, there's connection in the, in the, on the team and it could easily be lost during all of our COVID years because we weren't really able to get together. We weren't doing things um, because I'm telling you, for those of you that haven't been in that long, it'll be 22 years for me next month. And every, hey babe, your food is in the fridge. You can just warm it up. Yeah. Just take the foil off and warm it up. Um, and for 20, well, I guess maybe about 18 years, every Monday night we had a success event and new consultant training every Thursday night. And that just happens for almost 18 years. And then we just didn't, <laughs> right? <laughs> so what I wanted to do is just get back a little bit to the Mary Kay culture because I believe it is what makes us different than all of the other companies out there because there are other good products. I think you would agree. Um, but it is the relationships that I think has the longevity in Mary Kay. And so a lot of you know each other and there's already some um, intermingling there, but I know like when Danielle and I just went to seminar, like it's a constant reunion. Every time you, you turn around, like it's, you know, someone else you haven't seen in a while. It's just a lot of fun. And so I thought, you know what, we might not be able to go from zero to a hundred where we're here together, like every week or something, but we can start out once a month gathering together, you know, on zoom and, and really just doing a little bit more of the old school Mary Kay. Um, Michelle's been with us this seminar. Now you've been a seminar with us before. So you guys know what that culture is like as you go and, and know other consultants, other places. So that's kind of my heart behind this. And so we're going to go a little old school. I even asked the red jackets. I'm like, can y'all wear your red jackets tonight? Because truly, truly, how many of you, and this is just not to call anybody out, but I'm just curious of how things have got lost in translation. Just wave at me if you're like, you know what? I really don't know what you have to do to even earn a red jacket. Like, let me just say, okay, kind of, kind of, you, you don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so, you know, a quarter of the ladies that are here don't really know because you've never even seen one, <laughs> right? Like it's, why is it, you know, why is it even a big deal? And so I'm like, let's, some of the culture. And I looked at seminar and I told Danielle, I said, are you looking around? I said, almost everyone that's here, I said, they're in some kind of jacket, mm -hmm. which means they have been, they're building their business. It's not a time frame. What it, what a red jacket is, um, is simply just that they have at least a minimum of three working consultants on their team. And then it kind of goes up from there. And it's nice because when you go to a Mary Kay event, you always know what you're going to wear. So you don't have to worry about <laughs> picking anything out. It, it's, it's like, the, it's like the uniform, right? And so this is the new, um, sales director jacket. Do you love it? Yes, it's awesome. It is um, so Michelle, so you can see. I love it. Yeah, there you got put the pockets, didn't you? Yes, I, I did. I know. I know. I did with the pockets. They are all adorable. <laughs> yeah, there are. There's a couple different styles, so you'll see them. But I just wanted to, I'm like, you know what? This is the heart of Mary Kay, and these women have worked hard for it. And a lot of you are on their teams to be part of that red jacket. So you want to be able to see that, right? So pulling just some of those things back into play. And so I want to do a little recognition. Um, and, you know, just because Pam was my senior, this is my professional <laughs> outline here. And, and I needed to do some drawing, so I cut the paper out the side here. <laughs> <laughs> this is it right here. Pam would always say, million dollar unit comes off this paper. <laughs> like it's, it's so true. So, okay. So I wanted to just do some recognition. Um, last month, um, we started something new, which was IPAs. Okay. So IPA stands for an income producing activity. And the reason why we started kind of tracking this a little bit is because one, we can have creative avoidance, right? Like we can feel like we're doing something in Mary Kay, but it, you know, like um, I, I used to tease, I would say when a consultant's like, I'm painting my office. I was like, oh, she's not going to be making any money. <laughs> I'm re I'm alphabetizing my product. I was like, oh, not making money, right? Because we can do things that, not that it's a bad thing if you paint your office or have your product alphabetized, 
But if we do too much of those things, then it feels like we're doing Mary Kay, but it's not growing your business if we do too much of that. So we've come up with a list of things that help us grow our business that are income producing activities. So if you if you miss that, it's OK. It's all right. Don't worry about it. But if you're one of the ones, because I've got a new sheet, which it'll be in the group chat here in just a minute. Yeah, yeah we've got another one. But if you are one of the consultants that kind of work that, that this month and you had at least one IPA, one income producing activity that you tracked, I want you to stand up. We're just going to give you a round of applause. I know Michelle's standing. <laughs> so we're going to give a round of applause. All right. All right. Yes. There we, <laughs> yes. there we go. All right. How about two income producing activities? Three income producing activities? Four income producing activities. All right, hold that thought. Cindy, don't forget how many had. Cindy had four. Income yeah. Now, I want you to know it's a big deal because Cindy has come out of the woodwork. Okay, yeah. like two months ago, we didn't even know what Cindy was doing. <laughs> she she was taking care of her dad's what she was doing and she's still doing that, but she has like exploded. So that's a big deal Four. So we're going to come back to you. All right, five IPAs, six IPAs. Okay. Michelle, you have five, right? I had five. Five. Michelle had five. And that's a big deal for Michelle because Michelle um, was really excited at the beginning of the month, mid-month. She's like, oh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what's going to happen here. I'm like, it's all right. Let's stick with it. So five IPAs, six IPAs, seven IPAs. Okay, Danielle, how many? Six. Six and April? Seven. Seven IPAs. All right. All right. April. Yes. Very exciting. So... Do you remember, Cindy, do you remember the four IPAs that you did? You remember which ones they were? Um, yeah. Okay, what were they? Um, I think I had two under like sold. Okay. Um, I had one under training because okay. of the thing we had. Oh, you were talking about the success train. Okay, different. Oh. Hold tight. Okay. <laughs> no, it's still good. We're going to talk about that in a minute okay. too. Yeah, so... We're going to come back to the success chain, but yes, you did that. That's exactly right. Very good. So hold, make a note in the, um, and I can't remember. The I have it. We'll look at it. Okay. Yeah. We did the success train. That's right. Okay. Dania, um, Michelle, you had five IPAs and that's where the recognition start is five, five and up, like as far as prizes go, which we'll talk about that in a minute. But Michelle, why don't you tell the group which, um, five you did and anything that you think would benefit the group, like whether there was a learn or whatever it might be or how it helped you. Okay, so I um, I posted three times on social media. Actually, I was on social media a lot this month, which may have been why my brain just kind of went because <laughs> it really messes with me. Um, I watched all the lunch and learns. And one of the very first things I did at the beginning of the month, which is really big for me, was contact my birthdays. And so I tend to forget those. So that was a great one to have on the list. So if you're not contacting your birthdays, because they will almost always get you orders. Um, I love the success train. I think we should keep it for the whole year because <laughs> it's fun. And I actually, for the first time, held a Christmas in July event, not only on my Facebook group, but on my business page. So and that was huge because I've never I've never even done that before. So could you explain just a little bit in case someone hasn't done it before? Um, can you just explain about the birthdays, like what you did? Uh, well, I first of all, I try to track them all in my customer um, information, but I also put it in my Facebook group. Like I make sure I have everybody's birthdays and I basically just sent either a text message or a Facebook message and just, um, you know, wished them a happy birthday, told them I wanted to celebrate them. And I, I give a 20% off for, for birthdays. So. That's awesome. And so if you're not familiar with that, if you get their information, you can enter it in, under my customers and Mary Kate in touch, and you can run a report monthly. So you just go in like, so now I would go in and run my report for August and you can send one message at the beginning <laughs> of the month, you know, Hey, Cindy, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday month. You know, it was a special gift for me. You can take 20% off all Mary Kay products. Let me know if you have any questions or need some pampering or whatever. The key though, and I don't know if you did this, Michelle, so I'm going to put you on the spot, but it's okay if you didn't. But I always, the last week of the month, and it's never just 
seven days. Sometimes it's five days. Sometimes it's three days. It depends when I remember. <laughs> but I always send them a reminder. Anyone that didn't use their discount, like, hey, just want to remind you, three days left. Did you do that, Michelle? No, not okay. that. I usually do. Um, I kind of flaked out this month, so you know. that's okay. That's okay. But I will say, I did that. I think I <laughs> was traveling. I think I was like down to two days before the end of the month, and sure enough, it brought. Over two hundred dollars in sales from two That's from two awesome. customers. Um, I personally, um, <laughs> bless you. Do it when I remember. So if it's like today or Monday, I still reach out to those people and say, "Hey, just want to let you know, you know, if you don't use your birthday discount by Friday, uh, Mary Kay's gonna drop it." Right. And so and sometimes I it gets me orders. So I feel like I get more orders that last reminder time than I do when I initially send it out. When I send it out initially, sometimes it's like, Oh, thank you so much. And just like all of us, I mean, like, like we're sitting here saying, I send it out when I remember <laughs> because there's like a hundred other things going on, but it's such a great way. Just like we're building relationships here. It's a great way to tie your customers to, to you. And, um, it gives you, um, you know, it does, it just kind of keeps them moving, which is nice. So, um, and my whole point of the IPA sheet was to kind of give us something to focus on because sometimes we're like, well, I don't know what to do. And you might not do everything on the sheet, but you can start to pick and choose to figure out what would work best for you and your customer base. So, Danielle, you had six. So why don't you tell us what you did and what it looked like for you? Well, somehow, you know how you don't pay attention to things? <laughs> so I had seven. Because okay. I totally missed the birth. I was like, my birthdays was on there. <laughs> so somehow I missed it. <laughs> so um so the posting on social media the look i had to look because i can't remember everything um the the lives at lunch because i think the one that i was on counts as it does yes right? you, you were <laughs> part of that yes <laughs> um then the birthdays um the success train i had the 700 i did the pre-power and then i had the christmas in july okay um what can you share from what can you share with the people about and the IP sheet itself or any of those things that you did? Um, so I can say July was a hard month for me, but I was very determined to get the bag mm -hmm. because my look, I'm carrying around this tote bag because my purse looks like it went through a war. Um, <laughs> so I needed a new, new bag and I'm not a big purse person, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for this. Um, but it was a stretch this month. So hitting that the especially now that it went from 600 to 700 mm -hmm. so it was a little bit of a stretch but it was really good for me because using monica's sheet um really like kind of helped like put it over the edge and also offering free shipping for over 50 dollars. so i had a couple of my out-of-state customers um that i reached out to because it's been a while since they ordered um and so it was like 30 something or 40 something dollars and i'm like well you know i do i was like it's it's 32 dollars plus four dollars to ship it i said but i do offer um free shipping for over 50 dollars they were like well add this and this and this all right <laughs> so they got free shipping so um and then it's usually and here's the special deals it's just now over 50 and they'd add something else so that really helped just those two like just the special deals and the free shipping really helped with kind of boosting that up because I could have just let it go with, okay, $32. Right. I'll send it out in the mail with your $4 shipping and there you go. Right. Um, but it was just another little incentive. Yeah. And can you just remind them what Monica sheet is just um, in case anyone doesn't know? Yeah. So, so okay. there's, there's the special <laughs> deals, like, huh? the special deals sheet where if they spend $50, there's like a list like products on there that they could pick for half price. Okay. Um, so, and it changes and sometimes like depending like i had one depending on like what i ha i do have an inventory so sometimes i like add things on there like one of my customers was like well i don't need anything on there but i do need hydrogel eye patches and i happen to be a little bit overstocked on hydrogel eye patches so i was like sure that could be your half off product okay. sure um so you know it's knowing your customers too um that'll be the first graphic that i put in our, our group chat it is in it okay. is all of these things are always going to be on our unit page that you can find anytime and even every everything that i put in this group chat will also be on the unit page by the weekend but just because we're talking about it tonight you all will have it right here in this spot and you can just grab it from there now we can take a look and that really has made a huge and and it's like 
a give or take, right? Because there are some people that are like, no, I'm good. And then there's some people like, oh yeah, I'll add one on, but you know. But I don't feel like anyone's- No, and it's yeah. just like when you go through the drive-thru and they try to like, you know, sure, size yeah, you up. <laughs> like the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I don't think I've ever, as a matter of fact, and then your customers start to get used to it. Yes. You know, they're like, okay, so where's the special sheet? And you didn't get it out. Like, I haven't seen it yet. Yes. I'm like, I'm coming. Yes. <laughs> so that's really, really good. Yeah. And the, I think um, one of the other things I love that is about it, that is just that they are, um, it allows them to sometimes try things they wouldn't normally try at half price. I'm trying to think, I just had somebody say, something maybe it's a mascara no it was a foundation primer my neighbor across the street has been a customer since the day i moved in and i she bought something last month and i sent her the sheet and she was like oh my gosh i watched that live that you did about melt proof your makeup i'm like oh yeah the one that i do like at least twice every summer for the last however many years <laughs> but i didn't you know i didn't say that she's like i'm dying to try that foundation primer i'm like you want foundation primer but i guess she didn't so i guess she's loving it <laughs> so Anyway, very, very good. All right, April. Um, I had um, seven um, uh, posted three times in social media, um, sold four skincare sets, um, watched all the lives at lunch, contacted July birthdays, um, ordered 700 wholesale, um, held Christmas in July. Um, and had a grand day, by the way. Grand, grand day. day. That's a new one I think I know. So tell us, well, anything you want to share about it. We'd love to hear the grand day, I'm sure. Uh, well, it was yesterday. <laughs> the, um, the anchor coming in hot. Here she is. <laughs> I um, really wanted to hit the um, 700 wholesale, and it was a stretch. I didn't do a whole lot. Um, so... Um, I kind of like, I feel like I, I feel like I wasted time on the, uh, Christmas in July. Mm -hmm. Um, cause I only had like three or four people order from it, but it's stuff that is limited. Mm -hmm. Right. And I just want to get rid of it. Yeah. Right. Um, so I'm actually going to extend it to back to school and all yeah. this. Hopefully this to try and get rid of it. Yeah. Um, but, um, it was just reaching out to July, to the birthdays, um, to people that I hadn't heard from in a while. Um, just stretching. And actually, um, I had done that and I placed my order and then I was like sitting on the couch, like no one I needed to go to bed, but John worked late last night. So we were talking and I had another order come in and I was like, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so your clients also shop late, just like so, you attract who you are. Okay. I'm just telling you my customers don't be doing that nonsense, <laughs> but April people shop at midnight. <laughs> she was like, Am I too late? And I was like, of course not. You're never too late. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. So what I heard in, um, from all the ladies is that it, it gave, there was a stretch. It gave you a reason to, to push through. Right. And I think that is important. It's not necessarily that we all are hitting a certain thing because it's about what you want out of your business, what makes you excited and it's growth for you, whatever, whatever level it is, it's growth for you. Right. So, um, so I have a new, IPA sheet. So I will put that in the group chat. It's pretty much the same. I don't want to, um, I don't want to reinvent the wheel. I did have to take off the Christmas in July. Um, and so I think everything else is the exact same. The only thing that has changed is, um, the achieve your personal 13% increase um, replaced the Christmas in July. So everything else is the same. So we're going to continue on, um, with that, but we, I feel like these are all things that would help you, um, grow your business. And when I look at the, um, you know, I look at the, the top two had the most IPAs, right? Both were, 
the sore, um, not sore, that was so last year, <laughs> <laughs> um, power up achievers, right? So it really is going to be um, relative. So Michelle, you hit five. So I will be emailing you a gift card because what I got the girls really is not going to be shippable. Okay. So where your gift is going to be coming, we'll get that to you tomorrow. But I do have some little gifts here for Michelle and April. So if you girls want to come on up here real quick, come on up, give them a round of applause. Yes. Okay. So I, I appreciate it. Yes. I mean, okay. it gave me focus and focus oh. is what I lack sometimes. So. Yeah, and it just narrowed it down. I'm the same way because we could be doing a hundred different things, right? So just narrowing it down a little bit. So here we Aww, go. Oh, what they get? Oh. Huh? And I put places where I'm not Okay, there you go. So <laughs> they got a they got a power aid because they're powering up, right? <laughs> <laughs> Little power aid. And then I got them some business supplies. So one are coupons that they can put, and this is not a standard thing, it's gonna be different each month but coupons that you can put a sample in with their order and you can offer them like a discount for reordering and you can use them, whatever. Um, then also the secondary sheets that are in there are the brand new team building sheets. Yes. I was excited about those. And so it gives, you can literally use those as little placemats. It gives you some questions to talk to your clients about. And on the back, it has a really nice picture of all the business, um, all the, kit options. So like the 35, the 45 and the 90 are all on there. And so we need you girls to test those out, <laughs> try them and see how they work. I got myself some too. So yes, when you do some more things that would help you grow your business. So very good. Anyone have any questions about any of that? Um, before we move on to the next part or anything you wanted to say about anything you heard? I just want to comment. Yep, go ahead. I have one customer who lives in North Carolina, and I think that was a really good idea about the shipping. Um, I went through the company when she ordered, and I don't. If she's I willing, think it made her a little unhappy with me because it took so long. Usually, the company is pretty quick. Yeah. Did you do a customer delivery order, or did you order it under your name? I think it was a customer delivery. So you went to her name and my customers and ordered it that way. Yeah. They are usually really quick. Like, I mean, I have customers everywhere and like my furthest ones, like get it within like a day or two. Yeah. There max. was a, there was a glitch. Oh, probably went to New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, but every single package that goes it, to New Jersey gets stuck. Well, that's yeah. what I was getting ready to say on, on that note. I don't think it's the company. I think it's the melon. Yeah. It, it has, yeah. Cause I had a, I had some somebody that happened to me. This lady, what? I get off exit eight. I mean exit um eleven. She's in five. Exit five, going on the turnpike. Yeah. We right in Jersey, and it took like maybe literally a week yeah. for her to get her product. Like it's always when, that one post office. I it don't was understand. Every single package. She kept she was nerving me. Themselves? They huh? Don't, they don't go through the. It depends on the size of the package. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah, what they'll do out. is UPS will deliver to the post office, then post office takes right. it yeah. to the. And it, yeah. That's true. And yep. it took forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought that would be maybe something nice I could offer her. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And another thing that's a big hit with my customers that are out of state um, is the things that I have in stock. If I don't have to like send it, I don't charge them the tax either. Um, because I don't pay tax on it when it comes to me. Um, so, you know, like my friends in New York that have like a, what is it, almost 9% in sales tax now, they oh enjoy that a lot. Okay. Um, so that's something too, like if she didn't mind waiting and you had it sent to you in an email, like I don't know, that could take even longer. Um, but that's that's a big hit for my out-of-state okay. friends and customers. So too. yeah, that was a good idea. I think I'm going to spend more money on product than tax and yeah if it's something they want yeah. to repurchase yeah yeah right. and mindy if i can mm -hmm. kind of add to the whole thing um and brag on april for a second um because april will tell you that she's not techie and she did that back to school sale with graphics and everything that she made <laughs> herself and i just want to say i'm super proud of her oh. for going out of her comfort zone and doing something like well, not only doing the ipa but hey <laughs> You could read them. You knew exactly what they were. <laughs> you knew what the product was, and it was beautiful. So, 
Congratulations. Well, I also put a company picture product or company product picture next to it too. So there was no, because they weren't pretty. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? Again, we attract people that are okay with that. Like, you, you know what I mean? Like your customers are like, this is April. We love her. We don't, we're not buying from her because of her graphic, right? So other people, if they're buying for you from your gra because of your graphics, you better keep up your good graphics, <laughs> right? So, I mean, that's just, it, it's kind of funny how that happens, but it's good. I was sharing with Danielle. She, um, it's the same thing. Like, yes, we're, the IPAs will cause you to grow in other areas as well. You know, I was sharing with Danielle, she had, you know, just a couple of different, you know, scenarios that were, was going on. She was reaching out to people and really didn't get the results that she wanted. And I was like, that doesn't matter. <laughs> I said, you know, it, it really is a numbers game, no matter what you're doing. And if people have a choice, you know, just like Walmart and Target, you know, Sands and Costco, everyone has a choice, right? So it's okay if something doesn't work out the way we want it to. And so in that working through that process, Danielle came up with really great solutions. It was amazing. And I said, you know what? That's a win. It's it's not an IPA on the, on the scoreboard. You know, there's not really anywhere to track it, but you have to make sure as a consultant and a business owner that you're celebrating yourself anytime you're growing or learning something new. Like those graphics that April did, okay, she might, now she might be a graphic queen. And I mean, she might be no. Miss Mary Kay graphic next no. year. No. And she might look back a year from now and be like, those were terrible because you're going to, you're going to improve as you go, but you still did it. Right. And that's, that is what I really think holds a lot of consultants back in, in whatever the area is that you're trying to grow in. It's just waiting for that perfection. And really you, you learn through it. And uh, I'm just proud of, of all of you for really doing that. So that's amazing. Amazing, amazing. Can I share something, Mindy? Yep. I, I've been in almost seven years and I've never done a Christmas in July event. So to me, that was, and, and I'll be honest, I didn't sell anything in my Christmas in July event. But to me, that got me out of my comfort zone. And to be honest, now I'm thinking that I need to do like a back to school, like thing in my home. I think I need people to come to me. You know what I mean? So I, I've grown and, and I, you know, I have to look at that and not look at the fact that, you know, like you said, it's a numbers game. I didn't, didn't do anything this time, but it's okay. I'll do it again. <laughs> and we live in such a instant society, yeah. right? Like, you know, everything is so quick. You know, Lacey came home, dinner was done. She warmed it up one minute. She's upstairs doing her thing, right? Mm -hmm. I need you all to have a graphic. It, well, we had a mishap, so it took a little longer than I expected, but it, it's there. Everything is so instant. But I will promise you, if you just really keep your blinders on and don't worry about, like we want to inspire each other, but we don't want to compare each other because everyone has different goals, different lives, different everything. And if you just kind of sell it, that's why I, talk so much about the 13% increase, because if you just focus on what you're doing, then you're going to continue to grow and don't feel like you have to go like see instant results. Now we don't want to be doing the same thing for the next, you know, six to eight months and not see anything from it. And then we can adjust. But I was sharing, I just want you all to know, like, you are trailblazers in Mary Kay. I have some other things to share with you, but Daniel heard us at the airport. The directors are like, what are you doing? What's going on? And I was sharing with them. I said, well, we just started this new IPA thing and we're doing the success train. I said, but it's going to take three months for it to catch on <laughs> 90 days to make a habit. Right. And so, and they were like, you know what? That's so true. I did something and it didn't take off and I should have stuck with it. I'm like, that's just it. So 90 days to make a habit. So I think what you're going to see as we go, more of our team are going to be doing IPAs, more are going to be doing the success training because it just takes a little bit of time. So it's the same thing in your, in your business. So thank you for sharing that, Michelle. Very good. You're welcome. I, I you know, I have to toot my own horn because I don't. <laughs> well, that's good. And you've got that new house. So yeah, people need to come see it. That's right. <laughs> Were you going to say something about this school? I just saw you. No, I was just going to say about what Michelle said about coming to you because mm -hmm. I've noticed a lot. I was, I, I really want to say since probably 2024 started 
like the things that I'm doing online are not getting as much as they used to. Mm -hmm. Um, and I find that a lot of the people, at least that I'm around are not even on anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, so I have found, like, I, I did the same thing, Michelle. I was like, I need to get people because I didn't sell that much either through my Christmas in July. I have limited edition stuff. And I'm like, listen, I just need people to come and like, see it. And I know they're going to want it, <laughs> but they can't see it properly. <laughs> um, so it's, that's the same thing. So I'm doing, I'm planning to do like an in-person thing for like back to school and just have them come and hopefully, you know, then the only thing is people out of town, but you know. And, be and just and just leave it if you do something <laughs> if you do something in your home just leave it if you have the space if it's an option to leave yeah. one table set up somewhere in the corner just leave it that's not an option that's not <laughs> an option listen <laughs> my lipstick i couldn't even bring lipstick here with me we need to get you numbers. some we need to get you some frosted doors like i invested in <laughs> like for a little we put those frosted doors up they put their little faces up against there i couldn't see them they would slide notes under the door <laughs> Can't hear you. Anything, anything that is not like that yeah. is out, and she's like, "Oh, that's fine." I'm like, that's, that's, that's a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So, so there's a lot of things, but again, you know, that might not be an option for you in your home. It might not be something that would work. It's okay. Don't feel bad. Well, I can't because that would be another thing to happen. Well, I can't do what she can do, so I'm not going to do you know whatever. And I just I didn't know if I was going to share this or not, but I'm going to give you just a five minute little synopsis because I got sent Germany speech to oh. so the queen and I can send it to you guys. I'll put it in the chat. Okay. Um, the queen, she was not only, she was the queen of sharing out of the whole entire seminar. Okay. And she was the number one sales director, 1.6 million. Okay. We did 300,000 something. Okay. 1.6 million. I don't know her age exactly, but she's I can young. tell you she's young. She's married. She has two little kids, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they I'm going to be like maybe like one and a half and like three ish. Yeah. Maybe four. Young. Very young. She's only been in the company a couple years. Not long at all. Okay. So that's like pretty unheard of to do 1.6 million in this amount of time. So she's Haitian. She only speaks Creole. Okay, Danielle and I were trying to figure out what was going on stage because she wasn't looking at people and they were talking, but it's because her her national sales director speaks Spanish and she speaks Creole and the majority of her consultants speak English. It's like a real mess, wow. <laughs> but she did 1.6 million. So anyway, I'm going to send this to you because it's a, I'm going to hodgepodge this up a little bit. She lives in Florida, but basically what happened is they had zero money like almost no money. And her husband had a job. They were homeless at a t at one time or whatever. Um, then she wasn't working. She had a friend that, you know, had her get on this Zoom or whatever to hear about Mary Kay. She said, okay, sounds like a great idea. She signs up to do Mary Kay and gets some stuff. She puts it under her bed and she said, I just watched Netflix. <laughs> she said, I did nothing with it. She said, I did absolutely nothing with it. It was a great idea. It was a quick start and a quick stop all at the same time. And she did nothing. And so, you know, I guess they, she kept seeing, you know, seeing other women do things and she's like, that's great for them. You know, and she's watching her Netflix and her husband lost his job and he came home one day and he said, listen, we're going to sell Mary Kay. <laughs> <laughs> you got that stuff. The husband. The husband. Oh, nice. Sounds like Jen Buster. Yes. <laughs> we're we're going to sell Mary Kay. And she was like, oh, I don't think I can. He shut down the Netflix. <laughs> completely got oh, rid wow. of the Netflix. Wow. So she started dabbling and doing a little bit, but then she got in her head and she was a sales director time, but she got in her head and, you know, as a, as a team, you do have to do so much to remain being a unit or whatever. And so she got to the point where she almost lost her unit to where it was on the, it was almost done. And, um, I think someone called her, her senior national and just talked to her and she said, you know what? She said, I really, I need to focus. I need to be able to do this. And so anyway, she got her head on straight and did 1.6 million. She gives the stats in her speech. The thing is it's in French, you know, Creole, which is like French there. The girl does a, um, another sales director does a voiceover. So, you know, it, it, I was almost going to play it tonight, but I, I thought I might, it, it's kind of hard to listen to in a group. So I'll send that to you, but it's super inspirational. I'm going to send you the picture of her being crowned. One of the times, so you can see. I didn't really get her national in there, but yeah. I have pictures. 
So I'm going to send that to you. So I only, I only say, I only say that to you because we can't, we can easily hold ourselves back thinking about what we don't have versus what we do have, you know, and uh, I don't know, it's just very inspirational. And there's, I mean, you go to seminar and you see a hundred women, mm-hmm. very, I mean, just like her, you know, with whatever the story is, but a lot of times we, we live in ourselves. So again, you only do 1.6 million if that's not where you're headed, but, but you can do a 13%. <laughs> But you can do, I, and that's the other thing of why I wanted to come back together because I realized that we have been playing small for a while because when you don't come together, you don't get to see people win, you know? And so right now a win was, you know, five, six, seven IPAs. Well, that will multiply and that will grow as we start to see because you have three different areas, three different vocations, three different, very different people. And it's still working, right? So that that is the case. So we're just um, going to grow our belief, right? So very good. So with that, I did want to just touch base. I think we've probably hit on it slightly, though. Um, every Friday, I post a new success train in our Born to Win family Facebook group. And it's our success train for the week. And basically, there's different emojis. So it's like sell something under 100, sell $100 or more, place an order, share about the business with a client, add a team member. There's lots of different things on there. So there's a place for everybody to win. And throughout the week, as you do one of those things, all you do is just post the emoji. That's all it is. Now, if you're bad with emojis, you can just say, sold $100, booked an appointment. Like, it's not, it's okay. Don't stress yourself out about the emojis. But what I've been doing, one, we get to celebrate each other to be like, okay, things are happening. But also that um, on Fridays, when I do my little lunch and learn, and I've realized that that's not a great time for everyone, but it's on the Facebook group. So you can go back and watch it anytime. I've tried to make that more, um, not just, hey, what's happening, but skill-based to help you with more um, areas that you can grow your business. But each week I have been talking about the consultants that have posted on the success train about how, what they've done to be able to do that, right? Because I think that the best training is, Pam always taught me this, the best training is what's happened in the last Mm -hmm. week. That's the best thing, right? That we can do because it's fresh and we're doing it. So um, Danielle, I saw that you, one of the things you, you booked an appointment. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how did you book the appointment? What'd you do? Um, So one of my customers, um, well, I reached out to her because it's been a while since she got her skincare and she was like a oh, faithful, like, and the last time when it should have been a reorder, like she didn't need it, which I thought was odd. Um, <laughs> so I reached out to her again um, and it had turned out she'd actually won a skincare set from like a quarter auction, which was very interesting. To well, me. there you go. <laughs> um, so her daughter is like very into makeup now and I did her daughter's makeup like two years ago and so she wants to get together again to make sure that her daughter is you know using it appropriately and the right amount and all the things that you know when your mother tells you it's you know one thing but when another person yes. tells you it's a whole different story um so I booked both of them um kind of just to update her um and then you know help her daughter out too so and then I have another one, um, but that one I'm trying to figure out when because she's on vacation right now. So <laughs> that's good. We'll take it, right? Yeah. Very good. I'm trying to see if there's any other that you did that we might not have. I know you you did um, you listen to something or read a book or something that would grow help your mindset. Yeah, that was. Okay. That was that. Was that? I mean, maybe, seminar. Maybe it was April had a crown. Oh, April had a crown. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm getting the tail of your straight. Okay, that's right. That's right. That's true. I was yeah, like, yeah. no, I don't think Okay, well, yeah, you I were at seminar. Have, so yeah. that's good. So I think we went over most of yours from the week. And April, yeah. as I look at yours, I mean, we know what the sales were. So it was following up. So we talked about that. But you also booked appointment. Where did that come from? Um, the, just talking about the makeover contest. Okay. Um, and then I had um, back in Michigan yesterday was interviewing her. She was moving up. She's trying promotion, I think. And she come in in her sweatpants and 
And I was like, I thought you had an interview today. <laughs> and she said, I do. She was like, that's what's in my bag, my dress. And you're going to do my makeup. I said, huh? <laughs> she said, you're going to do my makeup. I said, you don't want me to do your makeup. <laughs> she said, just something natural. And she was the same one that I entered in the makeover contest. Okay. Um, and I was like, okay. <laughs> I'll see what happens. <laughs> so I said, I hope you have makeup because I don't. She was like, and she dumped out this whole bag. I said, oh, I can only use Mary Kay products. <laughs> Well, she had some, so that was good. <laughs> but I just, I winged it. I, I, I winged it because my makeup is not what they teach. So I was trying to do what we're taught with like a different color on the corner. She did look good. I didn't take my picture, but she did look good. Yeah. <laughs> Did you actually do her makeup when, with the picture that you sent me originally, or? Um, no, I sat with her. And yeah. Her what to do. Which and that's I mean that's most of the time what we do as Mary Kay consultants anyway. I was just curious. I mean, she looks phenomenal. And so if you don't know April super well, April, her jam is skincare. She loves you know skincare. So the makeup part is not her favorite, but but she's been willing to grow, right? And so um, the makeover contest has been helpful for that. So we're going to But talk I also, like, you know, I can sit here with you. You you can put it on however you want. Yeah. Like, but, like, yesterday, she was like, no, I need you to do it. <laughs> she was frazzled. Yes, yeah, she was very nervous. First off, she came in 40 minutes before the interview started. Oh, my. Ooh. That's definitely not her either. She was a mess. So I was like, you want me to do it? <laughs> she said, yes. And she held out her hand and she was like, I was like, oh, okay. I said, I can't make you any promises. But, he, but here's the thing. That's what many Mary Kay beauty consultants are to their clients mm -hmm. when you take some time to spend with them. And again, you don't have to do that with everybody. I don't want anyone sitting here. Cause you know, I think about Amanda who came in virtually. If you want to, if you want to continue to roll virtually do that, like there is a place for virtual still, you know? Um, I, I think, I think we're in a society now where it takes a little bit of a mix if you want to grow, but you can totally continue to do what, you want to do with your business, right? But what I've learned and when I shifted, especially during this makeover contest and sitting with people is that you're like their hairstylist. Like, you know, your hairstylist knows everything. It's really about your, you know, the relationship, what they have as well. And so, so she is in our department, but she is grad. She's the um, interim grad director right now. And so, her secretary was like, what is she so impressed about? I said, she's interviewing. And she was like, oh, it must be nice that you know. And I was like, oops. I also know what she looks like without her foundation. <laughs> she said, well, why, why does she, I forget what word she used. And I was like, she wanted me to do her makeup. And she was like, oh. And I was like, that's only because she buys Mary Kay from me. <laughs> She and she laughed. <laughs> so start all kind of conversations at work. I love it. So you also shared the business opportunity. You gave out some information. What that looked like? Um, just, just trying to you know inspire people to just make a little bit of extra money. That's the perfect answer. <laughs> that really is the perfect answer. Because everything is so stupid expensive mm -hmm. right yeah. now. I know it. And so, and I don't, I'm just going to repeat this. So I know for some of you, it's going to be repeat. You've heard me say it a lot recently. Those of you that maybe haven't been around quite a bit, um, it, it'll be new for you, but I'm going to just, I feel like um, I had just seen some things on social media for a while of like, you know, um, you know, I want to make extra money, but no direct sales, no MLM, like none of this stuff, you know? And so like, it was constant on my feed. And so I've been in Mary Kay for 20 some years. I would not still be here if it was not a viable business, okay? But if you allow the wrong voices to enter 
into your space, you start to believe those things, even though they're wrong. Now, I didn't think anything was wrong with Mary Kay. What I bought into for a little bit is I'm like the majority of women don't want to do this. The majority of women aren't willing to do what we do. And so I didn't share as much. Now, did I still add women to my team last year? I absolutely did. Um, because I mean, if you see enough people, they kind of start to say, well, maybe I can do this, you know, but I have bought into that. And I realized that I'm not doing that anymore because there's so many women that are working ridiculous shifts that are doing so many different things. You know, I think about Danielle. I mean, she doesn't need to get a sitter. Molly just does it with her. You know, <laughs> I mean, she tried to come tonight. Yeah. And it would have been okay. Like, we could have figured it out, you know, and it's, and I'm like, there's so many women that are, you know, that want to, maybe they're all, because here's the thing. There's some women that have made the decision that they're a stay-at-home mom, right? That's what they are. But because they were a stay-at-home mom five years ago, does not mean that they can still afford to be one now because everything has like literally doubled. And if they don't figure something out, they're not going to be able to continue to do that. Not all women want to be a stay-at-home mom. There's women that I sit on calls with every week that are military, like, like officers in the military, that are sales directors in Mary Kay. There is a, um, a Glory Mayfield Banks has a physician's assistant that's on her team that does Mary Kay. And I truly believe it's because of the culture. Mm -hmm. Those women don't necessarily need the money, but they love the culture of it. And so people come in for different reasons, but it's just sharing it, April. And I think getting back to that place and it's, there's not a, and we can talk about it a different, uh, a different night. Um, you know, as far as like what that conversation looks like, but I can tell you the best thing you can do is just share your heart. You know, that little sheet that I gave them is helpful for like visual, but um, just share your heart. Like I added the majority of my women, it's women on my team. When I became a brand new consultant within the first like six to eight months, my whole, I went from nothing to a whole unit in six months. I can promise you, I did not know what I was doing, <laughs> but I shared my heart. Like I loved it. I just loved it. And it was a lot of fun. And that was it. So keep doing that. Keep doing that. So very good. And you listen to something to help your mind. Yeah. Um, I'm in a bunch of groups on mm -hmm. Facebook and, um, this director, I'm following her on YouTube now. Um, but she, um, she was awesome. And I watched a, a video on booking. Okay things that she does i will find out her name and share it in a minute very good so that's just what i said you know that's on there as well just do something to i mean it doesn't have to be mary Kay related those are options but if there's a podcast that inspires you or grows your mind or something um and if you don't have any that you really love i have a laundry list that i can send you i i do enjoy a good podcast and, and books of course so i can give you lots of things to think about so that's our success train so look for that as you do things you know even if you feel like it's insignificant put it on there because it breeds excitement for the whole entire team and then we'll talk about you on um her on name, the next week her name is emily s-d-a-u-e-t-t-e -T -T -E. i don't know her but listen, there's so many, so that's great. Yeah, find something that that inspires you for sure. Okay, so that's what we have going on there. I wanted to talk just a little bit about, and we're gonna make sure that we're gonna we're gonna be done here in about 15 minutes. But um, I have just a couple other things I wanted to share with you. Um, one, I wanted to talk about the makeover contest. So. Um, who so i know april and and danielle have done the makeover contest has anyone else given it a try yet did anyone try it i have not yet oh you've got your appointment i have my appointment okay it, but i have not okay okay the makeover contest please find me yeah. you got a video um there's one yeah. but, but i'm gonna tell you you, okay. you uh, there is a video but i'll tell you you don't need it it okay. is very simple all you need to do is get with a customer let them try some color products. Really, at the end of the day, they just ask about the foundation. So mm -hmm. whether it's foundation or CC cream or whatever it is, and there's a link. You They upload their picture, and they put which foundation they're wearing, and they're entered into the contest. And I believe, is it seven grand prize? Is that right? So. Seven grand prize. Now, listen, get ready for it. Seven winners. The grand prize is a, a all-inclusive trip. Well, no. Okay. I'm going to say airfare for them and a person 
to Arizona, spa treatments, $1,000 cash, and free Mary Kay products. When the client wins, we win. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then there's six honorable mentions, which are $500 gift cards and then Mary Kay products. Now, the fun thing about this is I know a lot of people are like, I'm not going to enter. I don't, you know, I don't win anything. I have literally had clients win before. Okay. Can I just tell you, yeah. you can't be scared. If you go on the website and look at some of these pictures yeah. that are uploaded, I'm thinking the lady on the horse, the lady on the horse, <laughs> the lady who <laughs> took her picture with a charcoal mask on. Really? Oh my God. I really? Oh. I'm like, what? What is a makeover card? <laughs> and then was like, I don't even really do makeup, and I know that ain't it. <laughs> so you can go on the link, and did you know you can search by state? Yes. Okay, so you can search by state and see that. It's just kind of fun. I mean, still for Delaware, I, I've kind of been looking at this every day. I've been making sure my people are uploading their pictures. Um, but I want to say, tell me if I'm wrong, maybe 15 women on Delaware. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. Now, there's now they're not winning per state, but I'm just, you know, so I know that they're overall. But I have had people win. And so not every contest, but it, it is worth it to, to give it a go. Now, for us, is the, this is, but this is what I'll say. Um, every single person I personally have sat with um, have, has said to me, this was so fun. Like, oh, I loved this. Thank you for taking the time, you know, and and it's not for everybody. Okay, not everybody I've asked has done it. Um, but I've been talking to them about finding their season. And again, if you don't know how to do that, we can get you that training. It's too much to go into tonight, but it's so easy to do. They love that. And again, just like what April said, when I I help them pick out their colors, they put it on. And then I say to them, okay, so when you do your eyeshadows, how many do you normally wear? Right? And they'll say one or two or three, you know, whatever. So I don't have them necessarily put on three eyeshadows if they are never going to wear three eyeshadows, right? We just kind of stay in their lane unless they want to learn. Um, and then I would say, okay, well, we'll kind of, um, you know, do you ever do anything in your eyebrows? What do you do for mascara? So we just kind of talk through and keep them in their lane. There's some that are like, well, I, I don't do eyebrows, but I'd like to try. Okay, great. You know, and that's the beauty for you as the consultant because, um, it will get her into new products, right? And things that she might not normally. And sometimes it goes awry. I had one who last week who tried a, um, a um, we did the espresso shadow in her brows and we tried it first and it was just too much. And I was like, whoa, she said, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I said, okay, reel that back in. Let's get some eye makeup. We're going to take that off. Don't panic. You know, don't, don't be, it's okay. I'm like, whoa. She's like, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, yeah, get that off. <laughs> and there was one, um, there was one last week that gave me a little trouble with foundations. Like usually I'm super quick with foundations, but she was just, I had to try quite a few. She was like one of those unicorns or just like, wasn't matching perfectly. We got it. Um, but they love that. And they had a great time and everyone, I had one out of all of mine, not buy anything, but the one that didn't buy anything is bringing her daughters back. Her daughters are school age, um, not quite high school, but she said, now get this, her daughters are 10, and how old is like seventh grade? Maybe 13 13-ish. Okay. Now they're too young to enter in the makeover contest, but she said, she said, do you ever do this with, with kids? And I said, well, yeah, but they can't enter into the makeover contest. She said, that's okay. She said, if I don't get them out of Ulta and Sephora, she said, I don't want them using all that. She's like, I want them using what I use here. And I'm like, okay. So 10 and 13 are driving their mom. It, it's the norm for girls mm -hmm. in Ulta and Sephora. So I would suggest to you to, if you have the time and you want to do some makeovers to target mother daughters, mm -hmm. especially with back to school, because like, I think you said something, you yeah, made mention to that. Big, that's a big thing with my customer base um, is the mother daughter. Um, so I have a lot that I did one right at the end of the school year. I did one earlier this summer. Um, and then the one that I have coming up. So I have, for the same reason, they're like, I, you know, I want them to use quality things. I actually had my hairdresser tag me in a post. Um, this was a year and a half ago, two years now. Um, 
that her daughter was using stuff from one of those, and she kept having allergic reactions to it. Um, so my hairdresser tagged me in something, and then so this woman came to me, and now she's like one of my best customers now. Um, and actually, her her grandmother had bought her stuff from like Sephora or something. <laughs> And my customer was like, no, you're going to have to take that back because she can't wear that. She's going to wear Mary Kay. <laughs> <laughs> so then the mother-in-law called me and said, my daughter-in-law said that I can only buy from you for her. <laughs> and I was like, listen, I know exactly what she needs. So what do you need? <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that's, that's been my, for the same reason. Yeah. yeah. I would say in those appointments, you better have your patient's panties yes. on. <laughs> Because they, like my one client that bought, brought her daughter, she's fourth grade, I think, you know, and she buys for her and, and they have fun with things. But I mean, you know, hot coral on the yep. cheeks, you know, looking like, I mean, half the face is in hot coral. And you just got to be like, you're so cute. <laughs> you just got, but if you have children or you have nieces and nephews, they're your heart, right? So anybody who loves your kids, you love them. That's just it. And so um, I always try to really take great care of the the daughters that come through because the mom will stick with you for a very long time for that. Yeah. So, so with the makeover contest, this is what I would say. I would say to all of you is um, I gave Michelle this challenge. Didn't I, Michelle? I gave Michelle this challenge. If you've not done anything with it yet, unless you're like, Hey, I'm absolutely, it's not my flow. I'm not doing it. And that's okay too. Um, but if you're like, I want to try it. I just haven't. I want you to find the closest person to you in your life, your mom, your sister, your cousin, your neighbor, aunt, neighbor, whoever is someone that just loves you. And it's just someone that you would hang out with anyway. Ask them if you, if they would be your first face and you don't have to worry about selling them anything. You don't have to worry about what you say. You're just figuring out how to work the process. Right. And when you do that and that person has fun and they enjoy it, you're going to be more confident to start working with some people that you're not as comfortable with, right? That's going to help build your confidence. I mean, I, the first phase I did was Lacey's, but she's 18. I'm like, get on down here, kid, <laughs> you know? And then um, it was a mother daughter that she was over 18. So I started building my own confidence with it and just realized how <coughs> much fun women were having with it. And the next thing I knew I had fun. I've not left my house one time, just so you know, if that's an option for you, Every single person has come to me. I have not even left my house. Another option though, is if you are a virtual person, you could always pop some little samples in the mail and do a zoom with them or a FaceTime with them over, um, you know, over the computer screen or whatever. So there's, there's always exceptions to the rules to make it work for you. Right. So I think those would be things where you can just message me or, or whoever entered, um, brought you into Mary Kay to figure out like, okay, this is what I have. This is what I want to do. I don't know how to get there. But also, they don't even, you don't even necessarily have to send them samples. If they're a customer from you and they buy stuff already, I mean, maybe just a, either a CC cream or a foundation sample if they don't use well, it. Well, I want them to have something though. Like only because I want to something. get them on something new. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, yes, just to enter, if you're just building your confidence, yes. But if you can get them on anything else, that would be great. Now I will tell you an idea that I heard, um, when I was at seminar, just to take it up a notch, I haven't, um, I was not prepared to do it with the two that I've done this week, um, but it would be real simple is busting out the um, skin analyzer app mm -hmm. and just say, oh, I know you're here for color, but while you're here, let's just do a quick skin analyzer and just see how your skin's doing. And just let me show you how this works. You could act like it's the first time you've ever seen it. Like, oh my gosh, and we've got this new app. It's like the best thing ever. You know, let me just show you. Let's just play with it. But if you haven't used it in a while, it is like brand new to you, right? Yes, Mary. <laughs> um, so that is something that you can add in. Some of them, when they're not skincare customers, I have done their skincare while they're here as well. And the ones that I did that with um, all bought skincare products, which is really our ultimate goal because they are the customers that stay with you a long time and they reorder better your skincare. So are they usually coming with Um, or does it vary? It varies because some of my girls don't, some of my clients don't wear makeup at all, you know, so they're coming in with maybe like some mascara or something. Um, some have come 
like one who knew she was coming to this. And so she had an early appoint, morning appointment so she can come with anything on, but I had some that are full face. And if they, I will say this, if they are a already skincare client and they come with a full face, like they're using the repair, they're using the miracles, like the full miracle set or the full repair, then I'll just go ahead and my star water mm-hmm. their, their foundation off and stuff. Um, but if they're not using the full set, I'm not busting out my solar water because that's gonna, they're getting the full set on the face because they need to see it, you know, how that works. Um, but they love that. And I just said to them, um, and there's some who are, have been brand new, um, or maybe they just use a little thing. Oh no, my second one was brand new. She's had powder. That's really all she's ever used. Um, so I gave them the works. I'm talking satin hands when she came in, satin lifts. Um, so every appointment has varied for me depending on what they're already using. But I'm try- my goal is to get them on something new. And a lot of appointments I've booked has been for from reorder customers. The minute they sent me a message that they need something, I'm like, oh, yeah, great. Like, you want to swing in? You have an extra 30 minutes? You want to swing in and do this makeover contest and find your season? And all but one have said yes to that. Just so you know. All but one. So you can go for your schedule. Okay? So that is nothing. This is what I'll say for the month of August. We're not doing anything new. We're continuing on doing what we're doing to master what we're doing. I did come up with something fun that I think that, and if you need help get, you know, we can only do so much tonight. If you individually need help with booking appointments or you need some new ideas, like please reach out so we can narrow down what it is specifically that you need. These are just general ideas. Okay. But I did have something that I think you guys are going to be excited about. So, um, you know, Pam retired. And it's not Pam, so don't get too excited. Okay, let me not build that up. Um, <laughs> just to take it down a notch there. Um, but, you know, since Pam retired, we really haven't been able to, we haven't done, you know, anything really together as a national area, things like that. So I did some networking while I was in Texas, and I pulled together, there's eight of us um, from the um, previous Paul National Area. So I'm going to put... Um, a little graphic in our group and we're going to be doing a power up zoom with these eight directors so it's myself ronna wilkinson rocket michelle fletcher cheryl bosley emily stone kim henry um chrissy harvey and then natalie tall which is pam's daughter and so it's going to be um september 7th at nine o'clock it's just a zoom it'll be about 30 minutes and there's three different ways to earn it um, it's just, it's very simple. So being a power up achiever, which is 700 wholesale for the month, 10 faces that can be virtual or in person, any way you want to slice it. We're not going to count. Like if you do a live and people are just commenting, right. But like you're doing like a FaceTime consultation or you're seeing them in person. So 10 faces for the month or one new team member and all of the ladies that, that are from those teams will also be on there. So our thought is that you will get to cross pollinate with other women who are growing their business. And so each, um, each month there'll be a different sales director that will lead it. We'll be on, but there'll be a different sales director each month that will lead it. But you'll get to hear from the women that are actually doing what it took to get on that zoom and to be able to glean from that and build some, some relationships. So I'm excited about that. I hope you are as well. Um, it was, uh, that was happening in the airport too. <laughs> Danielle, I'm like, okay, so give us your feedback, Danielle. Tell us what you think. Uh, so she helped us work that out. So we were very, um, excited to be able to pull that together and just, um, give everyone more exposure to different things that are happening. So you can save that. Um, I want to give you two other dates. So that starts, you know, August 1st, it'll end on the 31st, but the zoom is actually September 7th. Um, the next time we come here, okay, will be our unit kickoff. It's Thursday, September 5th. So we'll do that again here. Oh, I had two more dates. I'm sorry. August 17th, just as a reminder, if any of you, um, plan on enrolling your clients in the preferred customer mailing, um, that is going to be the deadline for that is August 17th, which just so you know, if you've missed it, they are combining, which I think is a great idea, yeah. the fall yeah. and the holiday mail are together. So there will not be two separate. I think that's, that's the way it used to be. Yeah. It just makes more sense. I think that's smart. Yes. 
and it, so we're not doing two mailings back to back. And I'm like, I feel like I just did that. Mm -hmm. um, so that really would be for your holiday pe customers. That's really the one you want to enroll in because it would go out like the middle of uh, September. Okay. Um, and then finally, just the last date I want to give you, it's a save the date kind of thing, um, which be, would be October 5th. Um, I'm not sure of all of the directors. And of course, there'll be graphics for all this, but that are on that power up Zoom. But the majority of them, we're going to do a, um, a power up morning. So like from 9, 9, 9.30 to maybe 11.30 um, at Pam's Training Center. Oh. So all the different units will come together. I know, fun, right? Mm -hmm. um, and after that, we're going to have a little star luncheon. So just as a reminder, star consultant is 1800 wholesale, which started I'm gonna help them. where are we at? June 16th, 16th, June 16th. And it runs till September 15th. Okay. Um, congratulations. April's already a star. She is already a star. So for the quarter, um, so those are all the dates I have for you. They, um, there is a promotion this month for the company that if you order a eye makeup remover or a micellar water, you get five of the reusable pads for free with those. So that's something that you can promote, but just know that's not for CDS. It's only for our orders. Okay. There's no way to add it to easy ship or any of any of the ships. It's going to be just your order only. And they've given us a challenge which I'm like, we made up this challenge, but <laughs> um, when you increase, when we increase as a team by 13% this month, okay, there's really <coughs> never anything for that, except for that's what I try for us to do. And that's our goal. And that's our celebration, right? But this month, they're going to give us an extra $13,000 <coughs> in retail credit for our year end ranking yeah. we increase by 13%, 13,000. Yeah. I was like, okay, half a million, here we come. Yeah. That, that's a nice little boost. Yeah. If you don't know, that is our unit goal, 500,000. Um, the highest we've ever done is 375. Um, so that's what we're working towards. Um, so that 13,000 would be nice. And the reason, there's a couple different reasons, but when you go to any company events, when your unit's done half a million, you get good lunches. <laughs> <laughs> like on China, like not in a box, okay? So... <laughs> It benefits all of us, right? Not a box with the drippy water, right? Well, that, uh, same as you hear the drippy water. They, they do wipe it off for us, but that's exactly right. We get to have a, a goblet of some sort, right? So those are, um, so that, so really the way that's going to work, the way we're going to achieve that 13%, because we have to do, I don't know what the retail is, but it's like our wholesale is like 11,800 or something like that. So you know, we definitely can do that, but we have, we have to like focus on our goals to, that, that won't happen on its own. It definitely is well within our wheelhouse. It's not a crazy stretch, but we can't, we're not at a place to be like, oh, that's done. Right. Like we have to, if we all just kind of do our 13% or hit some sort of goal, then that's going to happen. Um, so, so that's what I have for you. Oh, final thing. Here's my last graphic. For those of you that want to do, I'm going to do an invite for this tomorrow. For those of you that, um, and I'm sorry for all the dates, but I get in front of you once a month, so this is it, okay? <laughs> um, but those of you that would like to do a makeover, but maybe just don't feel like super confident, or you would just rather have other people be around, I'm going to open up my house on um, the 10th, August 10th, it's a Saturday morning at 9.30, um, the day before we go on vacation, we're going to do muffins and makeovers. So we'll just be, we'll be here, get started at nine o'clock. We'll help everybody pick out their seasons and, you know, give a time to um, do the makeup. We won't have to like all be on the same step at the same time, but we'll be able to do that. And then we'll let them buy if they want to. We'll share a little about the business opportunity, but um, not there neither. So we'll, I think we'll be done by like 11, you know, August 10th. August 10th. Yep. So I just put the, um, so what I'll have everyone do is I'll create an invite for that. You can use it or you don't have to, you know, the, um, the I'm going to do a Facebook invite actually, so you can add people. The only thing I'll say is if you add someone to that, let them know that you're adding them to it. Like what it is like, Hey, I just want to let you know, I thought about you for this muffins and makers. I thought you might enjoy some time, you know, out, whatever. Um, I, I added you to the invite. They will not come. 
if we just add them to the invite and think that they'll be like, oh, I saw you invited me. I love to come. They're never coming. <laughs> Unless the Lord has just thrown you a complete bone and, it, and he himself was like, you need to go. It's just the way it works. I mean, how many of you have been invited to things? You're like, no. <laughs> but if someone says something to you, it's a little bit different, right? So, so there's that. I forgot the one drawing. Everyone that did... Um, and I did an entry for the Success Express. I put all your, like literally cut pieces of paper. Um, so Michelle had, for every entry you get in for a little prize. So Michelle had seven entries. Daniel had 19. Kelly Miller had two. April had 26. Cindy had three. And Sarah had one. So we're going to do a quick little drawing. And then I'm going to let you guys go. Okay, we ready? Here we go. So it's an A, which stands for April. She had 26. I didn't write April each time. <laughs> and it, congratulations, Thank April. You. Awesome. So if anyone has any questions or anything, you can feel free to ask. But I'm, I will go ahead and finish because I don't want to keep you here all night. If anyone has to run, that's totally fine. So Michelle, we appreciate you. Wait. Picture. Thank I, you, Lisa. I really needed this. Let's get a picture. Yes, hold on. Let me call. Let me call one of. Let's call Lacey. See if she's available. Somebody's down. Okay. Hey, are you in the shower? <laughs> Can you come take our picture? <laughs> I hate when my kids do. That. Okay, sounds good. I'm to the bathroom. All right, bye. Or I'm just unavailable. <laughs> She said, like, it's still recording too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to stop the recording. <laughs>